What is this business about them telling her, you can't have your daughter at your house, take her to your mother's? Is that them just trying to take control of the situation? Absolutely. Absolutely. They don't have a right to do that. Now, they have the right to go to court and file a pleading and say there's an emergency and let somebody swear to what the emergency is. Had one within the last couple of months in Galveston where the emergency was the parents refused to talk to CPS. Well, Judge promptly said, no, that's not an emergency. And no, that's not grounds to remove the child. The most destructive ones are when they tell one of the parents they have to divorce the other. That is uh, one that's most distressing because most people are in no emotional state to deal with. And it's all about splitting up families. It's all about, in their handbook, oh, we're just going to say they're abusive. No judge, no jury, no nothing. You've just got a divorce. I mean, I mean, next what? You've got to come to my house and cook me a barbecue. You know, next you've got to knit me a, a, a placemat set. I mean, you know, they're not God. You know, uh, are, are you guys familiar with how the family courts got set up to carry out racial hygiene and eugenics in this country? I am. Well, the, well, well, great. Uh, give us your insight on that, because I don't think people understand. This, these are the groups that would come and sterilize you forcibly. That's how they're outside the Constitution. This is a criminal, vestigial thing left over from the Hitlerian era that has just grown. That's right. And it's like the uh, syphilis experiments. You know, gee, we're going to pick a class of people that we can use as guinea pigs. And the it's it's been many, many, many years since I read the stuff on the the eugenics and so forth, but the the classic abuse to me are the black men who had syphilis and gonorrhea and who were not treated. We're going to see how the diseases progress. And they told them well, they were getting treatment, and they let them spread it. Yeah. But, you know, now we do this in the context of specialized family courts. We have 4D courts because this is where, you know, we now have abuse courts being set up. Where the Constitution doesn't apply because there was no such thing as family court when the Constitution was written. Meanwhile, everywhere, teachers now beat students, choke them, hit them, police taser five-year-olds, and that's all okay. They all have immunity trying to keep control of society. But then if a parent's kid is, is running out in the street and you spat them, boom, your kid's gone so that big, fat pedophiles can, you know, have their way with them. But well, it's if... even, more than, even more than a parent banking a kid. I mean, a parent can threaten to take away privileges and if you get the if you get a hypervigilant social worker, um, you know, they believe these accusations and, and right. they never question the child. Um, they That's never right. question whether or not the child is actually saying something that actually happened to them because they want to break up the family. Well, well, I mean, or something that they're putting into the kid themselves. Exactly. I forgot that. You're not allowed to yell at them now. But it's not a law. They just say we're going to take them. Uh, well, all, all of the countries or all of the states have uh, something the equivalent of the child endangerment statute, which I call the maybe might have possibly could have. You know, unwarranted disciplinary measures, if continued over an extended okay. period of time, might cause damage. Something along that line. I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay. Um, Kim Hart. Um Butch Barat, I want to keep in contact with both of you. I'm going to have, I want to have you probably back up both tomorrow. We can in part two of this, but I'm going to get Janet and Joe to call you right now. Thank you for coming on with us. When we come back, I'm going to give out the websites for falseallegation.org. The world appears to be on the brink of collapse. Experts say a pinch of heirloom vegetable seed could soon be the most valuable resource on earth because it will provide healthy food now and every year after. Survivalistseeds.com now has the heirloom garden seed time capsule, allowing you to store your seeds for the future anywhere, even underground, for 100 years. The heirloom garden seed time capsule can withstand three tons of weight, is 100% rodent proof, waterproof, and comes with a whopping 6,000 healthy vegetable seeds from 20 varieties that will grow anywhere in the USA. Unless you trust the government, the Heirloom Garden Seed Time Capsule and Heirloom Seeds from SurvivalistSeeds.com is your long-term food solution. Our competition charges $0.10 cents to $1.25 per seed for these same heirloom varieties. But you can now have a head of lettuce, a bundle of carrots, a basket of tomatoes, a giant watermelon, and 16 other varieties for about a penny a seed each. Be prepared. Buy your heirloom seeds today from SurvivalistSeeds.com and have food insurance for your family forever. Visit SurvivalistSeeds.com. SurvivalistSeeds.com is owned by Big John Lipscomb, host of the Don't Tread on Me radio show.